Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. In the last episode, we celebrated our victory over Yoldaboth, the god of chaos, enjoyed Christmas with the Sakras, and honestly figured out that Akechi is still very much alive, and he even turned himself in for all his crimes, and pretty much made us so we didn't have to actually go in and get arrested, which was very nice of him, honestly. But we also got Morgana back after he faded away when mementos got completely erased from the world forever. But just as things were getting back to normal, we've suddenly awoken inside an extremely distorted version of Shujin Academy with no idea where, why we've even been summoned to this world in the first place. Is it a new form of rehabilitation or is it something much more sinister? My only guess is in due time, that we'll be able to fully understand why we've been summoned here. But honestly, with that being said, our only answer is if we keep delving into the deep depths of the unknown. So with that being said, let's begin the final chapter of Persona 5 Royal. Even though technically we started it in the last one, but I think this is definitely where things truly start. So with that being said, I did go up ahead a little bit, um, and the reason why was because I was wondering if there was any kind of, like, dialogue stuff that you can't hear, um, if we turn it off like we normally do, and there actually is, so I actually made sure to turn on the dialogue voices for here, because there is actually stuff in here, but let's do this. That's Ryuji talking about his, um, scholarship if he never beat up, um, <laughs> never beat up, uh, good old, good old, good old, uh, yuck, yuck man, <laughs> gotta like him, gotta hate him, you know him, you gotta love him, you gotta hate him, <laughs> but yeah, Kamashita definitely, that's Ryuji's conversation about Kamashita. and if he never actually swung on Kamashita, he might have actually had a chance and getting his scholarship for his mom, that would have very much helped him. I can hear a voice. Who is it? That's Ryuji. Definitely Ryuji. But, let's keep going. Oh, the blue butterfly. Okay, so that was the only thing I saw. That's the only reason why I turned on the co uh, the dialogue, just in case. But, a butterfly. But, hmm. That's weird. What is the butterfly doing here? I should follow it. Probably so. Well, let's Was keep making this on. If Kamashita never did that to her, she would have had a chance to actually hang out with Shido, uh, Shiho during their high during the high school year. Yeah, true. If Shiho never fell off the roof, that's that conversation. Can we go over here? I wonder. This is a place where we actually made a little bit of a hideout. Never mind. Okay, can't stray off the path then. Let's just keep following the butterfly then. Why are we hearing old conversations from our team though? Kodo. Mm -hmm. Kodo talking about her sister taking up way too much responsibility and wanting her to kind of, you know, lose some of that. So. That's Haru. Losing some of that responsibility. Haru, um, worrying about her father, you know, now having to take up all of the responsibilities that her father left to her. Huh. Really interesting conversations so far. We near the front, okay, just in case. I don't think there's any more, because Haru is the last teammate out of, like, you know, the main, um, characters from Shujin. So I don't think it would just randomly do Yusuke and, um, Futaba out of nowhere. But why those specific conversations, though? Huh. Where are you going? Um, I'm going home? I'm leaving this place. Yeah, we're going home. Why are we even here? Why do we have our inmate costume? Because that means we're in some kind of, like, you know, the Velvet Room. But this isn't the Velvet Room. So why are we here? Home. But isn't this where you belong? Shujin. No, we don't belong here. I see. So you still haven't accepted it. Well, I won't force you into anything. Huh. 
won't force me into anything. What do you mean? Let's meet again. Meet again? Okay, Mr. Intercom Man, I guess? I'm taking a giant guess on that, but okay. I feel like I had the most bizarre dream. What could it have even meant? That's a very good question. What even was that? There's no time to pay Jugaba. I'm down if it's safe. Wow, we just dropped by a big margin. Why? That's weird. Um, good morning. Um, were you still asleep at Kira Senpai? Um, well, I'm now. How'd you been? I'm about to go back to sleep. Um, yeah, how'd you know? <laughs> well, actually, it is 1-1. We did promise her something for the New Year, so it does make sense why she's calling us. Because we did make a promise to go to the Meiji Shrine, didn't we? I was discussing, um, but I suppose you did sound a bit sleepy too. <laughs> yeah, Junior definitely looks sleepy. We did have a rough night there, whatever that nightmare was. Cause that place was creepy, let's be honest. I remember promising me that we'd go pay our respects to the shrine together on New Year's Day. Um, kinda, I think. I completely forgot. Um, yeah, I think so. I remember that. Oh, great. Um, well, today's the day. If you want to keep that promise. Yeah, of course. No reason to, you know, not do it. Um, I feel like this may be a bit for to me, but... Um, what do you say to accompany me to Becky Shrine this afternoon? Um, sure. Fine. Already looking forward to it. Yeah, already looking forward to it. We did promise you after all. And honestly, hanging out with Kazumi is honestly a pretty good time. We've already seen it. We've already had... 100% proof on any time with Kazumi is always going to be a good time, so <laughs> definitely looking forward to it. Um, really? Me too. Um, it'll be probably be pretty crowded today, but it wouldn't be too, it wouldn't be too bad if the, uh, in the afternoon at least. I'm sure we'll be fine. Ugh, crowds. I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll definitely be fine, I think. <laughs> I must agree. I'll be sure to pray to the gods that it won't be so crowded. Um, oh shoot, I hope that doesn't count as me wishing before making my offering. Um, hey, yump yump. Yeah, we're up, Sojo. <laughs> Thanks for the wake up, though. Um, well, let's meet at the shrine around noon. Um, I'll see you then. Okay, we'll see you soon, Kazumi. Huh, if you're awake, could you lend me a hand? Yeah, of course, Sojo. We don't mind to do so. <laughs> well, let's make her what was that? That was weird. That was a really weird effect. We've never seen that. Was there a reason for that? Or is that just, you know, just something new? Huh, sorry to make it work out uh, first activity of the new year. It's all good. Oh, that reminds me. Happy New Year. Happy New Year? Hope it'll be good. Yeah, Happy New Year, Sodro. <laughs> Thanks for, you know, taking care of us this entire year. Huh, and I hope you will continue getting along with Tom and myself. We're especially grateful you're open today. You know how everything on TV for New Year's is same old, same old. Say, boss, don't you have any plans for this morning? Huh, I could cook up some, um, I could, um, cook some up. So long as you serve yourself everything, pay your bill on the way out. <laughs> ah, right. <laughs> Can't exactly make plans when you've already got customers. Oh, hello. Um, how about you, young man? Are you going to the shrine for the new year? Huh, that's a wise choice. Studly guy. He's got a model, so he's important for some reason. Huh. Well, let's give him a voice for now. Um, happy new year. That's what you say today, right? Um, excuse me, but who are you? Or it's nice to meet you. Um, yeah, it's nice to meet you. Um, studly guy. Um, nice meeting you too. Wait, what are you talking about? Huh? I don't know you. Are you still half asleep or something? Huh? Who are you? I don't know who you are, bud. Um, but I do know you. Um, let me um. <laughs> That's pretty cool um, outfit, Futaba. Good on you. <laughs> oh, Logan Sharp. Um, you look absolutely lovely, Futaba-chan. <laughs> Um, I picked out with my mom. Your mom? What? Ow! Huh? But your mom's dead. Uh, your mom? What did you just say? Um, 
Let's make sure we we heard that right. What did you say? Yo, what did you say, Futaba? Um, sorry, I don't want to be late to the train. We're showing up come later. Um, well, time to make, um, like a tree. And get on out of here. Okay, well, see you later. Your mom, I hope we misheard that. Because that's interesting. The year's first shrine visit, eh? What do you think we should do? Well, perhaps we don't need to go this year. We don't have any more wishes that need granting. Hmm. Um, sorry, but I think I'll be getting there sooner than expected. Um, it was way less crowded than I thought it would be. Um, did my wish actually come true? You're lucky. Maybe it did. Um, yeah, maybe it did. Um, I'll wait by the entrance once I get there. Um, don't worry. No need to hurry. Huh. Well, maybe a bunch of people like the elderly couple there decided not to go to the shrine. That's interesting. Huh. Huh, what's up? Dude, you have plans for today or something? Um, I promised to do something. Yeah, Meiji Shrine. Yeah, I promised to do something. Yeah, we promised Kasumi that we'd go to the Meiji Shrine. So, it looks like we gotta go, Sojuro. Sorry, bud. Oh, come on. You should've just said as much, then. I'll be fine here. So, on you go. Have fun. Oh, but it's pretty cold out there, so don't forget to dress warm so you don't catch a bug, okay? Okay, thanks, Sojuro. <laughs> we'll see you later, bud. That reminds me, I still haven't seen Morgana today. Yeah, that is weird. Where could he have gone? Anyways, I need to head over to Meji Shrine. Yeah, where is Morgana? That is strange. Huh, wonder where he is. Crowd. Yeah, and the end of the year was just a few hours ago. Mm -hmm. Believe it or don't, only 364 <laughs> days until the next one. That is true, but... I know I'm gonna use the wrong year for a while. Well, I have an idea. New Year's party tonight to help switch <laughs> gears? Uh -huh. huh? Didn't expect you two here. <laughs> okay, that was actually a pretty nice cutscene. Although, you know, it's not the whole team, but it's, honestly, it was pretty cool. Because we got Kazumi, Ryuji, Mikoto, Futaba, Haru, On, and Yusuke, and Joker all in a cutscene. But, um, although it's not the whole team, like I said, no Morgana, which I still don't know where the heck he is. Which is weird, because he just came back. But, it's definitely weird. But, it is pretty nice, because, you know, we've only had so many cutscenes with Kazumi, so... I'll definitely take it, and that's a full-blown cutscene, and not like, you know, a semi-cutscene where it's using the game's models. So it's definitely nice. Definitely. I definitely like that. But, it's weird though. Wonder where Morgana is, though, for sure. But, I guess we'll, fi we'll figure that out later. But, with that being said, let's see how the team's doing at Minty Shrine. Well, how many coincidences can there be in one day? Um, and a good morning unto you all. I haven't seen you in absolute ages. Um, we were hanging out just yesterday. <laughs> oh, I guess we all had plans to drop by here first thing today, huh? Um, that would explain what led us to the shrine, but to this spot, um, at the exact time. Um, talk about incredible happenstance. Mm, indeed, but due to this fortuitous turn of events. I'm able to witness this mesmerizing sight through the embodiment of Japanese beauty. Well, he definitely does like his Yukana. I'm not really surprised um, Yusuke didn't bring his, because we know he has one. Um, what are you doing, Kitaka with Senpai? Oh, just ignore him. It's like a fit he gets into sometimes. 
<laughs> so, what do you want to do after this? Uh, if we've got the time for it, why don't we go grab something to eat together? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll be heading out with my family once we're finished here. Family? Huh? That's weird. Family means is plural. So... What? That makes no sense, because... Sainijima is the only family she has left, so why would she say plural? That's weird. So it's not- that's the second time we've heard something weird. Hmm, I have something somewhere to be as well. Me too, I'll be having dinner with my father somewhere. Father? Um... Guys? Um, this is really weird. Kumura's dead. Makoto's family is all dead except for Sai. And... Futama's mother has been dead for a long time. Um, that's weird. And they're just talking about it like it's never even happened. Huh. That's really strange. Okay, then. We didn't mishear that. Um, I'm gonna hit up some New Year's sales with my mom. And there's that again. Well, looks like you're all busy. Then maybe I should hit up the track team. See what they're up to. But you're not on the track team anymore. You quit that. Um, oh, I'll get in touch with Shiho and find out if she has any plans yet. Huh? Yeah, none of us is making any sense. It's like no one's making any sense. Um, well, I guess we'll all just have to go do our own thing then. Mm -hmm. See you later. Uh, huh. See you guys later. Are we living in a, another universe or something? Because that's definitely different. Looks like it's just us now. Nope, just me and you, Kazumi. Oh, oh, I was wondering earlier, why did you wish for the shrine to kill somebody? Um, I already forgot. To stay he healthy or to be a ladies' man. <laughs> um, to stay healthy, yeah. Honestly, good health is always a good thing. Oh, now there's a classic wish. Oh, but I think it's a wonderful choice. And you? What about your wish? Um, yeah, what was your wish, Kazumi? Yeah, what did you wish for? Um, me. Yeah, what did you wish for? Um, well... Oh, guess we won't be finding that out anytime soon. Um, well, I'm sorry. Hmm. Well, what's going on? Um, it's from my dad. Um, um... Is it okay? He's telling me that some relatives have come home to the house, so I have to go home and spend some time with them. Um, he decided to come all this way now, all of his way to station to get me. My family's kind of ser um, kind of serious about their go get um get togethers. You should get going. We'll hang out soon. Um, we'll hang out soon. Yeah, I'll definitely see you again. Um, hopefully soon because. We're living in bizarre world at this point, so I am actually kind of a little freaked out because everything I learned throughout the entire story is now um, null and void all of a sudden. So um, I'm a little concerned. It's a good thing that, you know, their parents and family members are back, but it definitely is a, you know, a shock because that wasn't the case the entire story. So that is weird. It is very, very weird. I wonder what's going on there. Oh, I'm really sorry. I was the one who invited you here and everything. At least I'll need to accompany you to the station. Okay, of course. Yeah, you definitely do that, Kazumi. Well, let's head back to the station, I guess. Oh, Dad. Dad? Oh, we actually get to meet him. Hey, Shinichi, Shinichi Yoshizawa. Okay, and these we've been wearing his red glasses we picked out for him. Huh, you should hold on to your sleeves. That is your dress uh, kimono after all. Oh, Jake. Hey, so, nice to meet you. You, um, who do we have here? I believe this is our first time meeting. This is a curious play. The one that I told you about before. We some play who's done so much for me. Huh, ah, uh, so you're a curious kun. My daughter talks about you all the time. Hmm, really? Dad, not it all the time. Eh, probably all the time. Huh, is that not so? Well, seems like it's the case. I was told you picked these out for me, too. 
know it's pretty late for it, but thank you all for the same. You're welcome. It's good on you. Um, it looks really good on you. <laughs> looks like you got a good pair. Oh, time where some all time even work. Huh, coin the fan of them. It looks pretty good on you, bud. Well, shall we get going? Oh, there's that. So that's not- that definitely is something new. That's weird. What even is that? It's like a weird headache or something. That's the only thing I can guess out of that. Just a weird headache that Joker's getting, but that's all I can really, you know, figure that out because it kind of reminds me of like, you know, the when we're starting to get our memories back, but it's, it's very much different because the memories were like flashes of white, but that's like flashes of like rainbow, which is weird. I wonder what that means. Um, er, huh? Um, what? Oh, something wrong. That's weird. He said Ray. Okay. Well, shall we get going and then blank Ray? <laughs> okay. That's weird. Um, huh, no, no, nothing. Well, then it cured some bike please excuse us. Okay, well, see you later, Kazumi. Hmm. Weird. I don't have any other plans for today. I should head back to my room. I guess so. Um, we're not going to question anything that we've seen so far, Joker, because um, you've definitely noticed something up too, I'm pretty sure. Morgana still hasn't returned. Yeah, where is he? Huh. Hmm? I feel like the questionnaire on the fan site has changed too. I didn't get to check it yet. Um, hey, do we have our first dream of the year today? Oh, do we? I thought that was tomorrow night. Oh, is it that a big deal? You'll just have to have your first dream whenever it happens. <laughs> hey, this is important. Can't let my first dream of the year be a nightmare. Well, ours was. <laughs> Which is, uh, yeah, that, that was definitely a nightmare, I'm pretty sure, because that place was creepy. Oh, Danny doesn't come with that. Um, here, take a look at this. Maybe it'll help you have some good dreams. Oh, yeah, that's pretty nice. <laughs> All the main cast in uh, Yukana, except for um, Kazumi. Hmm, pretty good, I guess. <laughs> when you even take this? Um, it was before we met up with you guys. Well, we all bumped into each other first. Um, though, maybe we should have taken a full group shot, since we were all meeting up there anyways. Hmm, this photo is good in its own way. Indeed, I believe it will inspire us some good dreams. <laughs> but, you gotta dream of specific things, if you want to have a good year, right? <laughs> what's, the, what's the traditional thing again? Mount Fuji, Sheep, and Okra? Tell us, Mitzi. Um, it was Mount Fuji and Hawk, and an eggplant, in that order. What does that mean? Um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make myself dream about that. I sincerely doubt that you can brute force yourself into dreams. I plan to have a dream of singular beauty. Um, I gotta get back to bed anyways. I gotta practice tomorrow too. There's him talking about practice again. He hasn't been in the track team for a long time. Weird. It's like our nightmare from the last night has something to do with what's going on. Because they were talking about certain things that, you know, that have come back today that wasn't the case the day before. It's weird. Huh. So maybe our nightmare was a dream in some way? I don't know how or how that happened, but uh, maybe it's a good thing? I don't honestly know. Guess we'll find out. Huh. What happened this afternoon can't be normal. Something is wrong. Yeah, something is definitely wrong, but... I don't know if it's a bad thing. Would you join the Phantom Thieves? Only 15%. I'm down if it's safe. Eh, true. But, huh, only 15% re approval rating. That's weird. I can feel a warm breeze on my face. Okay. I sense someone's presence. Uh, what the heck are you doing in my bed, bud? Who, are, who do you think you're doing in my bed, bud? S Mr. Studley guy from yesterday. That said that he knew me, but I still don't know who you are, bud. Um, huh? Um, what's up? Who are you, or what's going on here? Um, who even are you? Um, 
who am I? Um, hey, you've been acting kind of weird since yesterday. What's going on? Um, woman's voice doesn't say who. Um, are you still sleeping? Um, too still sleeping. Your lunch is gonna pull a vanishing act if you don't come down soon. I don't honestly know who it is, so I'm gonna do just, you know, that voice instead, and just in case, because I don't think it's Futaba, because it just says woman's voice, so I don't know who else it could be. Um, oh, you can go on ahead. I'll be down in seconds. Okay. Cool. Oh. That is definitely Wakaba. Huh. So she is alive. Futaba wasn't telling a fib. Huh. How, though? Um, these beans are the best. Um, they're all perfectly shaped and so shiny. Um, how are you alive? Um, looks like your recipes have reached housewife level quality. You trying to get hitched sometime soon. Huh, <laughs> thanks, but no. Oh, of course, so true. Hey, come join us. Okay. Okay, the sweet black beans will change your life. Um, good morning. Um, and you are Have We Met or Sphinx Lady? Um, closes the answer is Sphinx Lady. Um, Sphinx Lady? What are you doing here? Because this is the closest thing I can say to Wakaba. Um, oh ho, is this your first gag of the new year? Um, no. I'm more curious how, on how you're alive because I've. We've only seen you as a, you know, a shadow and would seem to be maybe a hint of, like, her soul, um, like, her leftover soul when Futama's palace first started crumbling. But, um, you are alive, and that's not supposed to be the case. Huh. We really are in Bizarro World, aren't we? Oh, hee <laughs> Don't come the spirit of the new year already, huh? I guess. I'll warn you not to try any pranks with Wakaba. I'll only blow up in your face. She'll tease you forever until she finally pours herself. Huh, okay. Well, that does sound exactly how you mentioned her before. Um, you don't be too well. Um, Wakaba? Yeah, Wakaba Ishiki. Huh, Wakaba. The work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? Yeah, there it is. So yeah, that was a memory we had, so... How is this happening? Wakaba is Futaba's mother's name, but she's no longer alive. Uh, what the? Not feeling so good. Um, yeah, definitely don't know about that one. Um, he's been like this since yesterday. I still don't know who you are, mister. Um, morning, Mona. Mona? Wait, Morgana? Huh, I guess he was a, a, a human. Huh, he was a lion, I guess. Um, morning. I'm just gonna do Morgana's voice, cause they just said it's Morgana, so I'm guessing it's Morgana. Um, do you think there's enough OCG for him to join you? Morgana? Don't tell me. Morgana? Is that really you? It really is, huh? Okay. Well, um, you definitely look different. Um, what's that a question? Of course I'm me. Um, seriously, are you alright? Huh. Something is definitely very wrong here. Yeah, Morgana was a cat, just not even like, you know, two days ago. So yeah, there's definitely something wrong here. Okay, that's enough joking around. For now, go ahead and grab a seat. I bet you're just hungry. Um, I don't think it's hunger anymore. I think it's more like something really bad, weird is going on. Not bad, but weird, that's for sure. Um, thank you for the food. Um, I can't remember the last time I actually got to relax and enjoy myself on a New Year's like this. Um, I'm stuffed too. Um, if only I had something to cap off this meal, like a cup of coffee. Oh, Sojuro is very good at that. Huh, boy, that was a subtle request. Um, um did every, anybody want dessert with their coffee? I'll go pick it up my treat. Um, you want a mud pump? Um, mud pump? Great, mom. Um, oh, how kind of you. Thank you. Um, I'll re I shall return. Huh, be careful. Well, there she goes. Hmm, Morgana is supposed to be a cat, and Wakaba, well, she shouldn't be here with us. Um, what's the matter, Spookskun? Um, 
um, culture shock, I think? Oh, hey, Ketchy. Wait, you turned yourself in. How are you here? Hmm. Uh, sorry, we haven't opened up for the, um, for the day yet. Um, my apologies. I merely wish to speak with the Kirikun for a mere moments. Okay, yeah, what do you want to talk about, Akechi? Um, why don't you go get some fresh air with him? I'll stand card over your dessert for you. Okay, you can do that. Although, I don't think you're gonna definitely, you know, guard it. I think you're gonna eat it, but you could go for that, bud. Huh, <laughs> say that now, but when he gets back and his dessert's gone... I'm pretty sure I'll suspect it was an inside job. True. Um, I can definitely see that happening, with Mona on guard duty. <laughs> I can too, honestly. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Akechi, how are you here? You're supposed to be in, you know, prison? Or, you know, on trial right now with Sai Um, you know, don't you? We have to discuss this. You remember? What's going on? Yeah, what is going on, Akechi? So he even notices something, notices something's going on. Um, that's what I need to discuss with you. Um, come on. Okay, let's go talk about it. Huh, well, see you later, um, uh, human Morgana and totally alive, um, Wakaba? I, yeah, huh. I have no words, honestly. But, weird. Um, well then, let's try to sort through this situation. Why are you here? Um, yeah, what's happening? We already know why he's here, because, you know, he's alive, because we saw him on, um, the, you know, the day that, um, Christmas Eve happened, and he saved us, and then he went to trial for us, so it would make sense why he would still be around, so, okay. Um, that seems as good a place to begin as any. Um, at the end of the year, I turned myself into the police, as the perpetrator of the serial psychotic breakdown incidents. Okay, we know that. Your, um, memory of this is still intact, correct? Yeah, but how are you alive? Um, yeah, definitely. So, what about it? Um, perhaps the most confusing part of my story comes post um, post-detainment. Okay, so after you got detained. Um, obviously, I was, um, thoroughly interrogated about my involvement in Tito's case. But, for some reason, after questioning, I was supposed to suddenly released. No explanation whatsoever. That's too weird. They let you walk? They let you walk? Really? For everything? Full confession and they just let you leave? That is weird. That's not something normally that happens in a police interrogation room. They, you know, they were planning on killing me, so definitely it's much different. Um, yes. I was acquitted of all charges. It's absolutely preposterous. Um, more than that, it should have been impossible for them to release a confessing suspect after only a brief interrogation. But that's what's even more unbelievable to me is... Um, Wakaba or Morgana? Probably Wakaba, because Wakaba's not alive. Um, that's right. Um, Wakaba Ishiki. I can't believe she's been brought back to life. Um, for the time being, you seem to be the only one who's still in um, their right frame of mind. True. Very true. Um, I should get to the point. Well, Yusuke didn't seem like you had anything going off of him. But, if you say so. Um, let's make a deal. Let's say we join forces on this. What would we do? I can't trust you. Let me think about it. Um, what would we even do? Yeah, how do we fix this? Um, I want to investigate what's exactly happening here. I'm fairly certain you wish to find out the same thing, you know? Yeah, I would. For this time being, you and I share the same goal. Um, to solve the problem, don't you agree that it'd be safer for us to partner up? Yeah, he's right about the need for teamwork to deal with this bizarre situation. It may be best to work with Akechi on this one. True, find out at least what's going on and see if it's anything sinister, right? So, honestly, you never know, because we can always prepare for anything. And if it isn't anything bad, then I guess it's fine. But we at least need to figure out what's actually going on, right? Because it's definitely very far off from what's truly supposed to be happening. Um, have you made up your, your mind? Um, guess I have no choice. What do you need me to do? Yeah, what do you even need us to do, Ketchy? Like, how are we even going to figure out anything? Um, well, um, first I need information. 
can you tell me what happened after parting ways with me in Shido's palace? Yeah, of course. Um, you died. Um, we took down Shido. We, um, you know, did all those things. Fought off with the Chaos God. <laughs> A bunch of things, but yeah, pretty much sums it up. Um, I see. Though some abnormalities appeared immediately, the most glaring ones arrived after the new year. And all the Phantom Thieves with you, as a sole exception, are living in this altered reality without even realizing it. Yeah, like we're living in a literal bizarro world. <laughs> but it, that's about it, yeah. Um, go ahead. Okay, let's see who's calling. Oh, hey Kazumi. Um, Senpai Tsubishizawa. Um, I'm in a type of right now again. Um. Calm down? Um, what happened? Yeah, what's going on, um, Kazumi? Um, I don't really understand what I'm saying, but I'm just going to describe it to you. Um, it's a building. It's really deep, but I could see that palace thing that Morgana Senpai mentioned a while ago. You could see it? That's weird. That's very weird. She could see it. Huh? How? That's really weird. Because of the fact that you need to be in the metaverse to see palaces. And we're in the real world, right? Unless this is the metaverse, or... Huh. Weird. Um, I care some I know this is sudden, but could you come to a WO type of right, right away? I'll be on my way. Wait for me there. I'll be right on my way. Yeah, let's make our way there. Um, I understand. I'll see you soon. Okay, we'll see you soon. Um, that was Yoshizawa-san's voice. Um, right? Hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, it probably was, wasn't it? I believe I heard her say the word palace. Um, guess she spotted one. You're just hearing things. I guess she just spotted one. Yep. Um, despite not being in the metaverse. Yep. You're planning to meet up with Yoshizawa-san, right? I'll join you. We're all but guaranteed to find a clue there. True. And maybe we'll even find who's what's really going on here, because I would think that that palace would be maybe the culprit of anything, because, you know, it's the only palace we know about, and it would make sense, I would think, because we saw that thing, like, halfway into the game, and now we're finally dealing with it, so I would think that would be where the source of all this would be happening, right? It would make sense, but is it a bad thing, or is it a good thing? Who really knows, honestly? But I guess we'll find out if we keep delving deeper, right? Well, now that we've made ourselves a new deal, you wouldn't turn me down, would you? No, definitely not. Okay, let's do this, Akechi. Let's go make our way to a dime oh dime button. I guess go see what's going on with this palace. Yep, that's definitely the palace. Huh. Okay then, yeah, it's literally fading in and out of existence. Um, I can't sit by the end. Um, I can't see son. Yep, that's a catchy. Um, we just happened to be together when he got your call. Yep. Um, first a dead woman returns, and now a palace appears. How intriguing. Um, I can't see son. You know about palaces. Um, wouldn't it help you grasp the situation if I told you that I have the same powers as he has? Um, yep, yeah, he definitely has the same powers. Although I'm not really sure if he's a wild card or not. I believe he's somewhat one, but I'm not 100% because of the fact that it's, he. I don't think he can just swap back to Robin Hood like Joker can for all of his other personas. But he definitely gives off the vibe of having being some kind of wild card. And I would heavily believe if, he, if they said he was a wild card or he said straight up that he had some kind of ability to use multiple personas like a wild card, or straight up said something about the Velvet Room um, without us saying anything, I would definitely believe him. Because he definitely feels like a character that would be the wild card because of the fact that the Holy Grail had us up against Akechi this entire time. So it would make sense that the Holy Grail gave him the power of the wild card, just like the Holy Grail gave us the power of the wild card. Or was that Igor? I still don't really understand that part. But I do believe Akechi is a wild card user. Although not on the same strength as Joker, because he didn't have his allies like we did. 
and he definitely probably would, would have got to the same strength as Joker if he did have allies this entire time. But I definitely see him as a wild card user. But what was his, um, you know, Velvet Room if that was the case? Because I feel like he would be one. It would make a lot of sense. And who would, you know, watch over him? Because we had the Wardens. I don't think we would have the same person, because that's not how that works. Because every character gets their own version of their Velvet Room. Like, um, the female version of Minato or Makoto in Persona 3, um, for the portable version, gets a completely different person. Instead of getting Elizabeth, you get Theodore, which is a completely different Velvet Room attendant. And Makoto male, for both portable and FES in the original, gets Elizabeth. So, it definitely does change depending on the person. So, it definitely is interesting. But, yeah, who would be his Velvet Room attendant if that is the case? Because, I don't think we've... I can... Uh, no, I don't think it's Jose. I don't think Jose is a Velvet Room attendant, even though he looks like one. I could make the guess on it being him, but he just doesn't seem like a Velvet Room attendant. So, I can't really make that guess. Maybe we'll see it, maybe we won't. That would be kind of cool, though. I would like to have some confirmation on that, because they kind of say it, but they don't show it in the original story. So I would like to see see if that is indeed the case, because that would be kind of cool to see, honestly. Um, really? Does that mean you're also... Um, allow me to stop there, you there. I'm not part of the Phantom Thieves. He, he was against us pretty much the entire time. Um, however, since you've already grasped this concept, um, it's clear to me that you're a fellow Persona user. Um, you can tell him he already knows. Yeah, he already knows. <laughs> he probably stalked her too. Um, I guess I can use a Persona as well. I'm not part of the Phantom Thieves either, though. Um, I just how happened to slip into this palace for the cure senpai and work on his senpai a while ago. Um, but what could be the meaning behind this appearance here? I just happened to be passing by on my way home when I came across it. Um, since nobody else is making a scene about it, I assume others aren't able to see it. Or they see it, but it doesn't invoke any real reaction in them. Kind of like, um, the whole, um, mementos when it came to reality. So just like mementos not being noticed by anybody, except for people that already know about it, only we can see it because we know something is definitely wrong. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so it's happening again, but this time much differently. Instead of hell on earth, it's heaven on earth. Weird. Oh, yes, that's exactly it. I asked some people in the area and none of them seemed to carry the whole about its appearance. Huh. Oh, hmm. Rather than simply hypothesize out here, May we may be able better off talking, um, taking immediate action. Um, we can. I don't see why not. Oh, maybe we should go into the palace. Um, not only has the palace manifested in reality, but this is the only one visible to us. I realize how I have no proof, but it's highly likely that this is related to our current in incomprehensible situation. Wouldn't it be more efficient to just go inside and see what we can learn? Um, that is if we have the means to do so. True. Oh, it's... Hmm? What's going on? Oh, the meta-nav is different now. Instead of red, it's white. The metaverse navigator icon is back on my home screen. Um, I thought it was gone for good, but it looks like we regained access to the nav. That's so weird. I thought we erased mementos. I have it as well, but... Um, is there a search history? Um, search history, how do I check? Um, oh, there's one search in the log, but... Is there anything there? There's an entry in the search history, but I can't read whose palace it is. Weird. Oh, the name portion of, on the, of the entry has been censored somehow. Oh, could this be the doing of the palace rulers? Maybe. Um, does that mean we can't enter the palace? No, I think we can. I guess we just won't know who the leader is right away, and that's for sure. That's the only thing I can really say, right? Well, actually, maybe we can't. I honestly don't know. 
Well, well, we do have a search history, so it should be possible to infiltrate anyways. Um, if you're going in, would you be willing to be me with you? I can't put my finger on it, but something's been bothering me ever about this place ever since we first entered it. Okay, yeah, of course. We did promise you we'd let you become a Phantom Thief eventually. So, it looks like the final mission is gonna be Akechi, Kazumi, and Joker. Huh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Finally get to use um, some teammates we didn't really get much time to use. Akechi for a second palace, and Kazumi for her very first, and, well, I guess you could say final, because I don't think there's another palace after the final chapter, obviously. But it would be kind of cool, you know, to get to, re get to use her even longer, but I highly doubt it, though. Um, I promise I won't slow you down. Um, what's your call? Um, infiltration time? I guess we're doing this. Um, infiltration time, I guess. No reason to not go. Honestly, at least we'll figure out something. Um, that doubles it. Um, alright, let's do it. Okay, let's do this. It's showtime. Into, oh, weird. It's definitely different than Mementos. Because that was definitely a different transition. Someone getting a second look here, I've noticed just how mysterious this place is. What could this building even be? Um, it depends on what the palace rulers think of this place. We'll likely find out if we keep pushing forward. Oh, he gets to keep, um, I just noticed that he gets to keep his, um, what do you call him, Black Mask persona. So does that mean he's going to be using Loki? That's pretty cool. Huh, I'll take it. I know he could swap between his clothes, so honestly, I'll definitely take it. So, huh, but it's weird. Definitely weird, though. I'll definitely take it, though, because of the fact that it's, um, um, what do you call it? It's, you could change his clothes if he went through, as long as you have New Game Plus, you can use, um, use Ketchy's Black Mask Persona when you go back through the, um, first palace of him when you go to Sainichima's Casino. And, um, that was one thing I noticed when I was in between episodes. I never talked about it because I didn't want you guys to know that he was the culprit until the game officially sent it. So I kept it secret because, obviously, I already knew about it because, obviously, two playthroughs of the game, I'm gonna obviously know who the cult, who the guy in the black mask is. So, but yeah, that's actually pretty cool that you get to, you know, use this um, costume because I didn't know that was a thing until my second playthrough um, for Royal because I never did a new game plus mode for um, Persona 5 original. And this is my first, you know, new game plus mode for the two um, versions of the game. So, definitely cool though. Um, oh, is that so? Yep, that's him. That's his true self. Um, by the way, um... Um, what's the matter? Um, look, I'm not sure how to put it. Wearing that one, eh? Oh, look, your true outfits. Um, wearing that one, eh? Yeah, why that one specifically? Um, that one? Oh, you mean this whole thing? Um, Yoshi's always on the side. There is no reason for me to uphold the pretense of a righteous, sincere detective prince. True. Enough chatting. Let's move out. And honestly, Loki's probably way stronger than who Robin Hood ever was, let's be honest. So there's no reason for him to go back into his other persona. So, or persona costume. So it definitely makes a lot of sense. But because of the fact that we do have Akechi and Loki, let's actually check out his persona since we haven't actually got to see its story. So Loki, Justice, a malignant god of Norse mythology, not always driven by malice, but impulsive and devious, he had an uneasy peace with Odin and the gods, but his part in Baldur's death drove them to finally punish him. Hmm. Okay, this is cool, because, you know, normally you don't get to play with Loki, so that's pretty cool. So what does he get? He's still weak to, um, to light. Or actually, wasn't he weak to curse before? So Robin Hood swapped his weaknesses. Okay, so he's got Evade Bless. He's got Levitane, which colossal physical damage, that's good. Severe Almighty for Megalodolian. He's got Debilitate, so now we have two people with Debilitate if we could use Morgana again. Um, Riot Gun, which is pretty good severe gun damage to everybody. Heavy Curse damage to one foe. Fortify Spirit is chance to be inflicted. Eh, that's not that good. And a free Tartakasha. 
eh, that could be good and that could be bad. But he's also got tactile spirits, a decrease SP cost of ally support skills by half. That's pretty good if you're using Morgana. So, hmm, okay, interesting. Very, very interesting, in fact. But with that being said, we're now officially in the final palace of the game, because I really don't think there's another one after this, but it's really weird, though. But with that being said, now that we're now in Bizarro World, we have a final palace now upon us with an unknown ruler with the ability to literally censor his name or her name in the search history for the palace um, directory. Honestly, I think we got ourselves um, in a major either pickle or maybe it's a good thing. We don't know yet. We don't know if it's a villain or a bad guy because good guys can have palaces because of the fact that Futaba had a palace. So we don't know if it's a bad guy or a good guy, but we do know that they are at least distorted in some way because Futaba thought her um, room was a tomb, which then made her have a palace. So whoever this may be, apparently they have some kind of distorted desire that's created a palace like this. But with that being said, thank you all for watching today's episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Keep being spooky, and whatever happens in the next one, it's definitely going to be a continuation on whatever is going on in this bizarro universe that we've entered ourselves into. So, with that being said, thank you all for watching, have a wonderful rest of your day, and keep being spooky. Peace out. Hey, boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.